Lord Commander Mormont watches the new trainees practicing and talks to Tyrion Lannister about their lack of resources, which are made all the worse with the prospect of the coming winter. He and Maester Aemon later request that Tyrion bring word of their problems to Tyon's sister Queen Cersei Lannister and ask for their help. Gior conducts a ceremony to induct the new class of recruits into the Night's Watch, reminding them of the honor of their brotherhood. Gior chooses Jon Snow, the illegitimate son of Lord Eddard Stark, as his personal steward. When their assignments are handed out, John is initially disappointed because he had always wanted to be a ranger like his uncle Benjen Stark but Samuel Tarly suggests that the Lord Commander wants to groom John for command. Gior is summoned when the bodies of Othor and Jaffer Flowers are discovered north of the Wall and returned to Castle Black. Sam notices that they haven't rotted, to which Gior comments that even though Sam is a coward, he is not stupid. Later Gior receives word via Raven that Eddard has been declared a traitor and arrested. He calls for John and informs him of this, the news about his family. Gior is understanding of John's feelings of distress for his father and sisters, assuring John of his sister's safety, but reminds him of his duty. Later, John attempts to stab Esser Alice or Thorne after he mocks his family for being traitors. Gior witnesses this and confines John to quarters. That night, Gior enters his own quarters to find John fighting a white, Othor risen again. John stabs the white but it rises and pulls John's sword out of its abdomen. John throws Gior's lantern on it, lighting it on fire. Thanking John for his action, and growing to see John as a surrogate son, Mormont gives him a Valyrian steel sword, Longclaw, an heirloom of House Mormont. Gior had previously given to his son and heir, Esser Jorah Mormont, but Jorah had left the sword behind when he went into exile leaving Westeros in disgrace. John attempts to leave Castle Black and join his brother Rob's army after he learns of Eddard's execution, but is persuaded to stay by his friends. Gior is aware of John's attempted desertion but refuses to punish him, saying it is more important that he came back. Gior tells John that the true danger and threat to the Seven Kingdoms comes from the White Walkers and Whites beyond the Wall, not the looming civil war, and asks for John's help. Mormont aims to lead the Night's Watch in force beyond the Wall find the missing Benjen Stark and identify and eliminate the threat posed by the White Walkers. John joins Mormont's party as it leaves Castle Black, 